hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make this cute little bear so get your materials ready grab your hook and let's get started okay so we're going to start with the magic ring and then six single crochets into the magic ring so we'll do one two three four five and six and then i'll pull my yarn and put my marker over here okay so now in the second row we'll increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches Okay, so we'll increase the next stitch. Okay, increase the other stitch also. And increase. And increase also the remaining stitches. Okay, so now in our third row, we are going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, then increase in the next stitch. And we'll repeat that single crochet and increase. Okay, and repeat that all the way round. Okay, so now in our fourth round, we are going to do two single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 24 stitches. So we'll do two single crochets, then increase in the next stitch, and we'll keep repeating that. So Two single crochet and increase two single crochets increase okay and repeat this all the way round Okay, so after that, now in our fifth row, we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. So we are going to continue and do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Okay, and you continue doing single crochets all the way round. Okay, so now in our sixth round, we are going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 30 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and then increase in the next stitch and then we'll repeat that three single crochets and increase okay and you continue repeating that all the way round okay so after we are done with that now for the next five rows which is from row 7 to row 11 we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 30 single crochets in each row so I'll see when you're done with the 11th row so that we do the 12th row together. 
Okay, so after we're done with the 11th row, this is how our head should look like. So now in the 12th row, we are going to start decreasing and we're going to do three single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. So we'll do single crochet one, two, three, and then decrease. So go into the next stitch, pull through, and then into the other stitch, pull through, then you have three loops on your hook and pull through all the three loops together. Okay, and we'll keep repeating that. So three single crochets. And decrease. Okay, and you repeat that all the way round. Okay, so now in our 13th row, we are going to do two single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way round for a total of 18 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, one, then two, and decrease. And we'll repeat that, two single crochets, and decrease. Okay, and you keep repeating that all the way round. Okay, so guys, as you can see, I've already started stuffing the head. So you should start stuffing yours too because we are almost done. So now in our 14th row, we're going to do single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. So we'll do single crochet and then decrease. Okay. And then we'll keep repeating that. So single crochet and decrease. Okay, and you repeat that all the way round. Okay, so now you're going to stuff the head fully like I already did mine because this low, uh, this row is our last row. Okay. So we're going to decrease all the way around for a total of six single crochets. Okay, so we're going to decrease. Okay, and then we're going to continue decreasing all the way around. Okay, and then when I get here at the end, I'm going to take off my marker and then slip stitch. And then I'll cut the yarn long enough for sewing, like that. Okay, so now we are going to start making the hands. Okay, so for the hands, we are going to start with six single crochet into the magic ring. So I already did that. So now in our second row, we're going to do single crochet, then increase, and we are going to do that three times for a total of nine stitches. So we'll do single crochet, then increase in the next stitch. And then repeat that again, single crochet. Then increase in the next stitch. And 
side one more time single crochet and increase okay so now after you're done with that now for the next two rows which is row three and row four you're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of nine single crochets in each row so i'll see you when you're done with the fourth row so that we do the fifth row together okay so after you're done with the fourth row now in our fifth row we are going to start by decreasing two times so we are going to decrease one time and then decrease again and then in the remaining five stitches we'll do single crochet so we'll have a total of seven stitches so single crochet Okay, so again now in our sixth row so I'm just going to cut it this first okay so in our uh, sixth row we are going also to start by decreasing two times so we'll decrease And then decrease again one more time and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining three stitches for a total of five single crochets so single crochet one two and three so we're not going to stuff the arm we're just going to leave it like that so now for the next two rows which is row seven and row eight we are going to do single crochets in each row for a total of five single crochets so i'll see you when you're done with the eighth row so that we do that uh, so that we finish up together Okay, so after you're done with the eighth row, now we are going to slip stitch and you cut off the yarn. Okay, so now we are going to make the legs. So make sure you make the other arm also before we start making the legs because we are also going to join all the parts together when we are making the body. Okay, so for the legs, we are going to start by doing a chain four. So we do chain one, two, three, and four. So starting on the second chain from the hook, we are going to start by increasing. And then we'll do single crochet in the next stitch. And then in the last stitch here at the corner we are going to do three single crochets in the same stitch so we'll do one single crochet and then in the same stitch do another single crochet and do also the last single crochet in the same stitch okay and then we are going to continue to the other side and in the other side we are going to do single crochet in the remaining two stitches okay so we'll do single crochet and in the last stitch also we'll do one more single crochet okay so that's our first round and we have a total of 18 stitches i mean eight stitches so now in our second row or our third row we are going to start by increasing the first two stitches so 
will increase and then increase also the next stitch Okay, and then we'll do single crochet in the next stitch and we're going to increase three times so increase the first time and increase again and increase the third time Okay, and then we are going to do single crochet in the next stitch and in the last stitch we are going to increase. Okay, so now we have a total of 14 stitches. Okay, so now in the next uh, round, which is the fourth round, we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 14 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, single crochet, okay, and do single crochets all the way round. Okay, so now in our fifth round, we are going to start by doing three single crochets. So single crochet, one, two, and three and then we're going to decrease four times so decrease one and then decrease again the second time two decrease three and decrease again one more time Okay, and then okay and then in the remaining three stitches we're going to do single crochet in each stitch so single crochet one two and one last single crochet Okay, so now we have a total of 10 stitches. Okay, so now in our sixth row, we are going to start by doing single crochet in the first two stitches. So we'll do single crochet one and single crochet two. And then we're going to decrease three times. So decrease one time then decrease again the second time and decrease the last time and then now in the remaining two stitches we are going to do single crochets so we'll have a total of seven stitches Okay, so now you're going to stuff uh, the bottom part a little bit and then after that now for the next three rows which is from row 7 to row 9 we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of seven single crochets in each row. So I'll see you when you're done with the ninth row so that we continue together. Okay, so guys after you're done with the ninth row this is how your leg should look like. So now for the first leg, you're going to cut off the yarn like I did with this one. But for the second leg, do not cut off the yarn because we're going to join the two legs together. So now to join the two legs together, we are going to do a chain four. So we'll do chain one, two, three, and four. 
okay and then we are going to take the second leg make sure it facing the front part so the protruding part should face uh, to the front so we're going to do then seven single crochets into the next leg so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six and seven okay and then we are going to continue into the chains that we just made and we're going to do four single crochets into the chains so we'll do single crochet one two three and four okay and then we'll continue into the next leg and do seven single crochets okay so we we'll do single crochet one two three four five six and seven okay and then we'll continue into this other side of the chain and do four single crochets okay so single crochet one two three and four okay so now we have a total of 22 stitches okay so now after we're done with that now you're going to place your marker over here and then you're going to continue uh, the same way and from row 3 until row 8 which is 6 rows you're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 22 stitches in each row okay so you're just going to continue and do single crochets single crochet single crochet okay and you're going to continue like that all the way around until you get to the eighth row so i'll see you when you're done with the eighth row so that we start the ninth row together okay so after you're done with the eighth row this is how a little bear looks like as you can see so now in our ninth row we are going to start by doing three single crochet then decrease and we're going to repeat that four times so we're going to do three single crochet and decrease and then we're going to repeat that again three single crochets and decrease okay and repeat three single crochets and 
decree. And repeat three finger crochet. and decrease okay and then in the remaining two stitches we are going to do single crochet in each stitch so now we have a total of 18 stitches so now in our 10th row we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we continue and do single crochet okay and do single crochets all the way round okay so now in our 11th row we are going to attach the hands together okay so we're going to continue and do single crochet one Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, until we get here to the side, and we're going to take our hand like that, and we're going to attach it to the body, and we'll do two single crochet in both the arms and the body okay so I'm going to go into my arm like this and also the body and do single crochet and then do another single crochet through the arm and the body like that okay and then i'm going to continue and do single crochet one two three four five and then i'm going to place my arm over here and i'm going to do single crochet over here through the arm and the body and then i'm going to do another single crochet through the arm and the body like that Okay, and then now in the remaining stitches, I'll do single crochets. Okay, so I'll continue and do single crochet, single crochet, and single crochet. So now we have a total of 18 stitches. So you start stuffing your body now and we continue. Okay, so as you can see, I've already started stuffing my little bear. Okay, so now in our 12th row, we are going to start by decreasing. So we are going to decrease. And then we'll do 8 single crochets. So single crochet, 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
okay and then we are going to decrease again and then we'll do single crochets in the remaining six stitches okay so we'll do single crochet one Two, three, four, five, and six. So we have a total of sixteen stitches. Okay, so now in our thirteenth row. We are going to uh, to do a decrease then to single crochet and repeat that all the way round. So we'll decrease and do two single crochets. And then we're going to repeat that. So decrease. And then two single crochets and then you're going to repeat that two more times okay so now you're going to stuff your body fully because uh, this row is our last row so now in our 14th row which is our last row we are going to decrease all the way around for a total of six stitches okay so we are going to decrease and we are going to continue decreasing all the way round Okay, so after you get to the end, you're going to slip stitch and cut off the yarn. Okay, so after that, I'm going to explain how to make the ears and the muzzle. Okay, so the ears and the muzzle are quite easy. So this is our little ear. So it's just six single crochets into the magic ring and you'll be done with the ear so make two and then the muzzle or the nose also is easy so you'll do six single crochet into the magic ring and do other two rows of six single crochets so you have a total of three rows okay so now let's join all the parts together Okay, so guys, as you can see, I've already finished attaching my ears and the little nose over here. So for the ears, I attach them one, two, three, four from the fourth row from the top and same with the other one. And also uh, when attaching the ears, make sure they are in line with the hands like this and also on this other side. And then the nose, you attach them right between the eyes where I embroidered them. Or if you have uh, the doll eyes, after you attach them, then uh, right in between, you attach the nose uh, below like one row below the eyes. 
okay so guys there you have it i hope you enjoyed this pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and until next time bye